guys, welcome back to Audrey's Out of Streets for another video. We're back again for another video. So, I've done my brows. One brow always look better than the other one, and that, you know, it hurts my soul. I know they're not supposed to look alike because they're twins and not sisters. No, they're sisters, not twins. Get that right. But it just really hurts me because, like, one can be like all harshed out and then the other one is all slanted you know i just don't understand hey but whatever i'm gonna go in with this urban decay urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in eden's and we're gonna basically put that all over our eyelid and we're gonna blend it out I'm working with some colors today, so that's why I'm using this light eyeshadow primer. I'm going to go into my Morphe 35O palette. You guys know this is my favorite palette ever. So I'm going to take a color that's kind of like that shadow base and just sit. Okay, so guys, once we have our base down, I want to go in with a kind of like a caramel brown, this here. Really get into that caramel brown. Okay, from time to time, you guys are gonna see me put my phone up. I'm actually trying to do an Instagram, no, a Snapchat makeup tutorial while I record this, which is a failure. But So next I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush, the brush I previously used was my MAC 221 brush, my favorite blending brush. We're going to take this Dollar Store, Dollar Wet n Wild brush, it's a crease brush, and where I use it to directly get into that crease. So I'm going to take a darker brown to get in it. I'm going to make sure I really get into that crease with that color. And deposit it through all throughout my crease and blend it out with my MAC 221 brush. So I'm putting some color in my crease as well. I'm gonna go in with this purple. I'm gonna use that same crease brush. This is the Zobo color out of the Jovius Place Masquerade palette. I'll just put that directly in that crease. Black concealer brush, and we're gonna cut this crease on out. So I'm gonna use Warm Honey by LA Girl to cut the crease. So I'm not the best at cutting creases, like, this is a learning uh, experience for me. Done a few cut creases, but I really take my time to make sure I really carve out my lid a little bit above my lid to really cut that crease really well, really sharp. And uh, my best method is laying my elbow on my table 
and really keeping a steady hand. So. So I'm going to take this small detailing brush and I'm going to go in and kind of intensify that line a little bit more, That put that purple. Time to cut the, the crease, cut the the crease, cut the other crease. Here I'm taking that green color out of the Jovis Place Masquerade palette. I'll put the name of the color below because I forgot, guys, guys, but it's okay. Put the name of the color below. So I wanted to add a little sparkle, so I'm taking one of my glitters from the Cherry Brown Mom by Cherry Brown um, Makeup Madness by Cherry Brown Glitter Lips Collection. I forgot the name of this color, but I'll place it below. I don't know if you guys can like really see this pigment glitter. You see it. This light is so bright sometimes. I really need to get a diffuser, but yeah. All right, so now I'm just gonna kind of take my wet makeup white and just take my take this at an angle with my finger and wipe. Foundation brush, my little buffer Y7 brush to buff in some foundation. I already put my primer on. I need to go back in and put a little bit where I kind of under the eyes where I kind of wipe. So after applying more of that uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer under my eyes, I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and kind of place it all over my face and take my buffer brush and really buff that foundation into my skin. You guys know this usual routine. I'm gonna take my LA Girl Concealer and Fun and start highlighting my face. This is my absolutely favorite brush to buff out my highlighter with. It has no name. And it's by, it's not, to my knowledge, it's not by a brand. I just bought it off of Amazon, guys. I feel, um, I think it's like a kabuki brush set. 
and I love those brushes to blend out stuff. So basically I've put my highlight, I concealed, set it, and I contoured, put my face powder, put a little Studio Fit spray. You guys know the deal. We do this all the time, all the time. So that's what we did. This light is ridiculous. I need to get me a diffuser. If anybody knows where I can find a diffuser for this light, let me know. Or how to make one, link me a video. So, this is the eye, the face makeup. So it's time to work on warming this face back up. Honey. So, so. I contour kind of get this face back to life and then we're gonna go in with some blush I have this old Costa Sense forever blush it's like a pink reddish this the Egyptian liner because I was trying to really wing it out without making my line super thick but in all actuality I think I should have made it a little thicker um, and not as long because baby I look like an Egyptian honey here I just took um, a nude liner into my waterline and then on the out on the lower lash line I'm going in with cat's meow which is a black liner I'm going to smudge it out with my little pencil brush now it's time for our lashes <sighs> so we have our lashes and let's do a lip and then we're going to do a highlighter. Here I'm taking Current Lip Liner by MAC and I'm going to go in with Madison by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a nice pinky purple lip that I thought would be really cute for this lip. I take that back. That's the lip color in Vintage by so I'm going to use Bronzified by Makeup Addictions. That's what we're going to use to highlight today. right back gotta get cute for y'all real fast and then i'm coming right back to finish the video so guys this is our finished look guys enjoyed this look um something different something new trying to get into these dramatic looks trying to you know keep it fresh keep it fun um this is a learning experience for me as well 
So when I'm doing these looks is when my first time doing them with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Thank you for watching Audrey's Artistries.